My friends, ladies and gentlemen, do you hear me all? I'm very happy to greet you today in the name of the first International Congress of Psychodrama. You know, psychodrama has come to Paris because Paris is a capital of psychodrama. It always has been, and it always will be. There are many, many cities, but there is only one Paris and one France. President de Gaulle said, La grandeur de France. We say, La grandeur de monde. As I look at you, I'm looking for people who are troubled. We have problems. Problems in love, marriage, in family, in business. And I'm ready to work with any one of you who is ready to work with me. And so if I am now stepping forward to look for subjects, I'm seeing first you. What is your name? Jean, and what is your name? What is your relationship to Tom, Jean? You are a married couple. Why don't you come forward? Let me meet you. Oh, Jean, beautiful. May I kiss your hand? And you, Tom, come perhaps to this side. Now, how long are you married to, to Tom? We have been married uh, five years. Five years? Yes. Why are you here in Paris? What brought you to this <laughs> beautiful city? I'm an old Parisian. You are an old Parisian, and you? I uh, have stayed here since our marriage. So I'm, I'm a journalist here. How long are you married? Uh, five years. Five years. Yes. Children? We have two children. Two children? Where are they? They are in the country. Oh, they are in the country. Now tell me now, Tom and John, now, what, uh, why are you here in Paris? What brought you here? Uh, today, the Congress of Paris. The Congress? Yes. And what do you want to do here? What is your motive? Well, uh, writing an article about Congress. Uh, an article about me, perhaps? Yes, about me. Well, then let's write it now. I'm <laughs> interested in psychology. Oh, you are interested yes. in psychology? Yes. And you? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, tell me, uh, uh, it is, uh, you must have a problem, otherwise you wouldn't have come forward to see me. Well, we, uh, we do. What do you have? We don't get along. Uh, we have. Now, you Never. don't get along? <laughs> now, what is that? That is so general. Is there any specific problem you have? Well, I think that for, for my woman, point of view, I have a problem. Yes. Which is this is here because only a real problem has a meaning in this session. Yes. If it isn't real, if it is fictitious, then you just return <laughs> as where you come from. But it must be true. Yes. It must be fed. Mm -hmm. It's a true problem. What is it? It's, uh, I have been studying for several years. And uh, after that, I have been working. Yes. I had a professional life. Yes. And then for one year, to finish my list off, I uh, went back to the studies. And I wanted to, to go back to work. And then I got married. And. Uh, uh, since then, I haven't been working because uh, my husband is American. Always wanted to go back to America and so on. And so we we had fights about that and and problems. You have fights because he wants to be in America and you want to be in Paris. Yes. yes. So that's right. Right. So, very much. The ocean is between both of you. Yes. yes. I have many times. You know, you remind me of uh, a problem which I uh, uh, handled many years ago. I remember a couple. It was, uh, her name was John Crawford, and his name was Franco Tone. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I became acquainted with them in 1938 in America, their problem was that she felt she is the queen of Hollywood, and he felt he is a king of New York. And, uh, and so they decided to have Half a year in Hollywood and half a year in New York. Yes, we thought we could have this solution, but it's difficult.